Hello everybody and welcome back to Fallout 4. Today we're going to be taking a look at the second expansion for the game, Wasteland Workshop. Um, the DLC came out a few days ago, maybe a few weeks ago by now actually. Um, I haven't really had a chance to really look into it very much up until sort of this weekend and I started building this on a new god save that I downloaded off the of Nexus because I wanted a blank uh, star drive in to actually build stuff here but obviously the one I have on my other character has a crap ton of stuff there so you know I got this one which had a blank version of the star drive in I had to clear the place out which is where there are like more rats and there are a couple little of their holes I think most of it is underneath this now though but I built this before I started recording just to create a basis but there you go there's another mouse and also there's that I need to get rid of. But essentially what we've been building is an arena for the actual fights. And I've started with this thing here. I've created like a little um, hole here which has water in and there are candles under the water which creates the lighting. So that pit sort of glows. But the idea was there was going to be traps and different cages and stuff in the arena once we're actually finished. Uh, I've got place everywhere working again properly. So it does mean we can place stuff everywhere. And actually now I need to figure out how to get back out of here again. I think I just jumped up against the ledge last time. There we go. But yeah, we're going to be building an arena style thing. Um, I'm planning on maybe building slightly smaller, like little arenas off this side. Because there is a lot of space. I'll show you because it's pretty much that, yeah, that fence line there. There is all of this space for building stuff. Which, you know, we're going to end up using either as sort of fewer stands maybe or like I said as sort of smaller fighting arenas there's also roughly the same amount of space on the side I essentially built a place that so lines up with this place pretty nicely it creates one giant wall that we have as a basis obviously I'm gonna have to raise up this wall I can actually get rid of this line of um, concrete foundations these are the new blocks as well just thought I'd mention those um, they are slightly more awkward to build with. They're pretty much exactly the same as the wooden concrete foundations that you can only build. Just they have this nice metal rooftop and obviously cost uh, metal to build. Yeah, they cost steel and concrete. But like I said, God save, so we have literally infinite resources to build with. As pretty much always when I'm doing building stuff, I kind of like having an infinite amount of resources to build with. That's a cool thing we can do. I think I'm going to build this up once more so that the wall is two blocks high and then we can... I'm going to get rid of that wall and get rid of the awkward flooring over there and then we'll probably be come back because I'm going to do this in sort of short little um, speed buildy bits sort of like the, what, the airship video. It may go on for more parts like the other one for building the house here because this is kind of a big project and I'm going to probably be using a lot of the new stuff, less so modded things. So hopefully all of you guys can build these things. But anyway, I'll be back very soon. Obviously guys, you guys will see it in a speed build. I will just be recording and playing by myself for a while, so I'll be back very soon.
Okay, so there we have it. This is the... I've now fallen into it, which is kind of an issue. <laughs> but the uh, two block high arena base is pretty much done. I did have to lower down all the flooring, as you probably just seen. The lighting in there works quite nicely, actually. Sort of lights up the pit. You can also see the ash from one of the things I killed with this awesome thing. Which is, uh, you know, sort of Coca-Cola pistol. I have a lot of mods. But, uh, yeah, this is the, uh, sort of the base for the actual arena, and it runs all the way up to that, which is acting as a very nice wall. And I kind of... I'm very tempted to actually build it all the way up to be the same height as that, and then have, like, that run all the way across, like, as the sort of watching bit, but I think that'd be kind of excessive at the same time. But, um, we're now going to actually work on a door, because there are specific concrete doors which require power to open and close so you can use them as essentially exits and entrances to your arenas um, I'm not sure exactly how well they work outside of using place anywhere or place everywhere but I'm just gonna you know if you've been to the channel press F9 to save which is uh, possibly gonna cause some issues so maybe back as is tradition shadow play fucked up so <laughs> we're back uh, in fact I need to Enable God mode because I'm carrying like five bajillion items and spreading still not gonna work for a while. But that's fine, that's just four outworks. But anyway, we're gonna get, actually get to work on this door, which I've had to obviously go away from for a while. I, you know, did the usual stuff. <laughs> I don't think there's anything really that you guys generally want to do. I don't know. I mean, I went and watched a YouTube video. That's pretty much what I did while I was waiting for, you know, Shadow Play to actually function properly and you know, for the other 5,000 things on my computer to do things. Because, you know, I do a lot of stuff. And obviously not everything is super fast. But, uh, yeah, I should place that there. Uh, the lack of being able to move is slightly irritating. But, wow, I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> okay, the, the fact that I can't move is irritating. There we go. That's yeah, it's a little better. For some reason this won't snap to there though, I think I might have to get rid of one of the top or bottom pieces. Also, I really need to get this fixed. Why why am I not why can I not sprint? There we go. <laughs> I'll just enable caps it, that'll fix everything, right? Because that means we just permanently sprint, right? No? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'll leave that for now. <laughs> We're just gonna be slow walking for a while. But yeah, um, I've installed a lot of mods, as you can probably already see and guess, from the fact that you're even on this channel probably means that, you know, about five or three mods I have installed, because I have a lot of mods for one reason or another. Mostly, my mods seem to add stuff for building, but I haven't actually done a huge amount of building recently, so I don't know, not that many mods are actually... Oh, for God's sake. There's a weird bug that I've noticed. Um, I think it went... Oh, okay, it was because I was carrying the thing around. But there is a weird bug that I've come across with... Um, since this update came out, since the uh, expansion, or DLC, I guess, it's not really an expansion, it's not adding a new zone or anything, that's what classified expansion is, but the DLC seems to have caused a weird issue, I'm not sure if anybody has encountered this before, but the, um, why is that, like, so far out, that's weird, but the fact that uh, when you go through certain menus, if you go onto certain items, it will get stuck, and then won't actually be able to move off that item. I've only noticed it since the, the Steel Seas come out, so I'd assume beforehand it wasn't a thing. Although, like I said, it's possible it was, I just never encountered it. But it's a really weird bug, and I really don't like it, because it's really irritating. Okay, I think I nearly got it. There's, there's this weird sort of snapping thing on these now, where there are like several different positions that you can put them in. And one of them is on top of the current platform. So, you know, you can have it so it doesn't stick out a meter from the actual wall. 
And that's kind of what I want, but it seems to be, uh, you know, throwing a little temper tantrum and not placing the wall in the correct place. It's just always going out there. Is that actually a snap, or is that the... <laughs> Whatever. Okay. This is really awkward, like I've never... This... The new blocks just seem to not want to play ball. Like, I don't know if you watched... Well, I assume you watched because it was earlier in the video. I think I'm just getting really tired, so... <laughs> this isn't helpful. But, um... These concrete blocks are much more fidgety in comparison to the original concrete blocks. Because if you've watched the original um, video on the channel about building perfect walls or towers, you'll know about the fact that you can essentially just put a staircase down and then immediately get these in the right line. Whereas the new staircase that's added by these concrete things does not work properly. In, like, if, if it was works the same as the original staircase, it does not work the original. Words are not coming out of my mouth properly. The original staircase, essentially it doesn't function the same way as the new staircase, which means actually putting these concrete blocks level and stacking them up like this is awkward to do because the sort of weird level change that they've added to them. Also, I'm going to have to go with placing that manually because the snap doesn't work is a nice thing to learn. Also, building two blocks on top of each other doesn't really work either, because you have to keep taking the blocks off to then build this layer, which I also did not encounter while using the original concrete blocks, but uh, obviously not everyone, so somebody probably encountered this bug before me, but the fact that that happens is kind of irritating. Um, I need to work out which side the door power is on, there we go. Because these new doors that are added by the DLC um, are powered to be turned on or off. So, you know, that little power coupler there, which you guys probably can't see. I mean, I can hardly see because it's really dark. Like, I installed a reshade mod because it makes the game look brilliant, as you can probably tell. And the fact that, you know, it actually seems to increase performance, which is kind of odd considering, you know, these mods are improving the sort of graphical display, but that logically should be taking up more, you know, sort of processing power from the GPU. So I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. it you know, the, the game should run worse, but it runs better. But I ain't, I ain't really mad, I mean. It literally means I get my game to look prettier, and I still have the same level, if not better, performance in some areas. There is a slight slip above that door, which is an issue. Which I can probably fix at a later date, actually. But that has taken a really long time to get a door working. <laughs> to fair, the door doesn't even work at this point. It is literally just a door that doesn't open, so I've put this below it. Power switch, and then we have a generator that's nicely set up here, which I uh, placed that earlier. There we go, and then power cable straight to the switch, and then from the switch to that, and boom, we have an open and closable door. So there we go, we can seal the place in, and we can get in to actually do stuff inside. Also, we're stuck at a freaking stale's pace because, yay. I genuinely like, I really hate using god mode at once you're already over encumbered and you've already started moving because it just bugs out like this and essentially god mode takes no effect and it just means you have to permanently walk everywhere because you're technically over encumbered. I actually don't know what this character has on it because other than the stuff I've spawned in for the character it has just the base stuff that the, um, the save came with from the Nexus. And like I said, I installed it literally just to get a blank version of Starlight Drive-In, so I could actually customise this place. Actually, I might be putting the power switch around the other way, thinking about it. So is that door flat? That, that's another issue. I don't know if it's flat to the wall. It's definitely not going to be flat to the wall now, because I've rotated it. 
Oh, oh dear god. Oh no. This is going to be an issue, and that's a blinding white light in this um, incredibly dark zone. Also, we now reach the, the moment where I have to use more cheats. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that nice slow-mo camera. Ooh, yeah, I don't have control of this so I'm not going to even bother trying to make it look cinematic as I fly through that door. But yeah, um... If you guys are doing anything, fall out, and you want to make something like cinematic, then you use a control. Yes, you didn't already know that. Most people do. It's sort of a trick of the trade, I suppose. It, you know, it's something that kind of makes sense, in all fairness. Also, that slit above the door is actually going to come in handy. I have figured something out. Yeah, I can use it to connect a power line through the middle of the thing. Ah. That works. Yeah, it's something that a lot of people don't realise, is that controllers do actually have their use, even when you're playing Fallout on the PC version, because they're quite helpful if you're doing cinematic stuff, or, you know, recording in general, trying to show off an armour, something like that. You know, it's just something that's nice to use, because it allows you to get a much smoother sort of movement, essentially. Which is something that uh, a lot of the time you need. And actually, I'm going to put a cable there. I mean, I literally don't have to worry about resources, but obviously if you're playing um, normally, you will have to worry about resources, so try not to, I guess, overspend. There we go, that makes sense. I essentially just want to set up a wire that kind of made sense. It doesn't still, but it makes more sense than it would do otherwise.